We have a very big news update from Tesla Gigafactory Berlin. Based on the Unwrap Model Y bodies seen at Giga Berlin, some in the industry think that Tesla may have already started the production testing of Model Y at Giga Berlin. I stress again, the production testing, not mass production yet. In this report, I'm going to make two arguments about these unwrapped Model Y bodies seen at Giga Berlin. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, welcome and please subscribe to our channel. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. And also, if you find this report interesting, please give us thumbs up, like this video so YouTube may put it in front of more Tesla enthusiasts. Giga Factory Berlin, Tesla's first European factory, aims to first produce the Model Y for the European market and then move on to other vehicles as production ramp ups. Now, one of our friends, Albrecht, a Twitter account that follows Gigafactory Berlin progress, shared a picture of multiple Model Y castings sitting outside the factory. We don't know whether they were brought from Fremont, from Shanghai, or produced at Gigafactory Berlin. The picture shows eight vehicle bodies wrapped in plastic with the plastic seemingly blown off of one revealing the model Y a nice interesting color. You saw the picture, you will see the picture in thumbnail for this video and I will also post a picture in the community tab of our YouTube channel. So please take a look at that and let's continue the discussion there. Also visible in this picture are wrapped pallets from Gaiko Takisha, Taikisha, a company involved in paint shop solutions. Benzinga Publication thinks these bodies may have been produced at Gigafactory Berlin as initial general assembly testing of newly installed equipment. Do you like this idea? The parts could have also been shipped from the Fremont factory in California to use as a reference. Um, they could also be there to test the new painting equipment, which um, Techno, King, Techno King Elon Musk said will have an entirely new paint system. In other words, these Model Y body castings may have been shipped to Giga Berlin from the Fremont factory to study them, test them, and to train workers. Now, let me know which one do you think is more plausible. Speaking of workers at Giga Berlin, things are going so fast there that Tesla is in a hiring spree at Giga Berlin with 28 new job postings in three days. Joey Klender from the Tesla Radi notes that Tesla is preparing for Giga Berlin's first operational period in what is expected to be July 2021 by posting several new employment opportunities at the electric automaker's initial European vehicle production. We expect the prototype, as I have reported earlier, to start in May and the mass production of Model Y to start in July-August timeframe. In the past three days, Tesla has listed 28 new jobs posting in a wide uh, range of categories, from human resources to construction and facilities to engineering and information technology and beyond. Tesla is gearing up for the final touches on the construction processes and the initial portions of the vehicle manufacturing at the site. Past reports from Germany have indicated that Tesla will hire around 7,000 employees ahead of the manufacturing phase's initial runout. The automaker has already hired some of those 7,000 with many being placed as warehouse employees as of November 2020. Additional jobs have likely been fulfilled since then. But which positions Tesla has hired so far? remain unknown. Some of the new jobs involve training new employees, a human resources positions, others have to do with CAD design or CAD design. I don't know what CAD is. If you know, guys, let me know in the comments. Other job positions have to do with manufacturing. However, with the first date of production quickly approaching, there is no secret that Tesla is looking to fulfill these positions in an efficient manner. July 2021 has been listed as the month 
when production and deliveries of the Model Y could begin. One of the more notable additions to Tesla's career page relating to jobs in Grünheide is a manufacturing engineer who will assist in press stamping lines. Tesla has used stamping methods for some of its vehicle parts, including the Model Y body and the Model 3 front. Additionally, the Giga Press has been one of the automakers' true claims to fame in terms of manufacturing. As you know, Giga Press will re, uh, replace hundreds of KUKA robots, robotic arms. The Giga Press has been effective for creating single piece rare casting for the Model Y crossover. The Model Y will be the first car built at the Giga Berlin facility. Tesla utilizes the Giga Press at its Fremont factory in, no in Northern California and recently shared a video of the massive machine in action. I shared that video on our YouTube channel and you have seen that. If you haven't, you can search and you can find in our YouTube channel, friends. But the Giga Press's purpose is to eliminate the number of parts that make up a casting, making manufacturing more efficient and less time consuming. It also can improve the durability and rigidity of the vehicle structure in the event of an accident. Giga Berlin could be Tesla's golden goose in terms of breaking through a highly competitive European electric vehicle market. While Tesla performed well in the German electric vehicle market in February, displacing Volkswagen from dominating the podium, the automaker has not performed well collectively in the European sector in general. According to the electric vehicle sales block, EV sales block, no Tesla vehicles managed to crack, crack the top 20 in sales in January 2021. But Giga Berlin will likely change Tesla's mediocre performance in Europe. We're expecting a lot of good changes to come because of Giga Berlin, the popularity and the press that they get, and more popular and more Teslas on the road. In the meantime, there is a new German documentary out by ZDF uh, or ZDF that points to issues at Tesla Giga Factory in Grünheide. In my next video report, I will take about I will talk about uh, that with some interesting facts. For example, one of them, Elon Musk at some point almost gave up on Giga Berlin. Here is why. I didn't know this. It is not clear if Tesla wanted to have a factory in Germany or if it was an effort from politicians such as Jörg Steinbach, Minister of Economic Affairs of Brandenburg. He is the one that tells about a conversation with Elon Musk in which Tesla CEO almost gave up on the factory if he could not call it Giga Berlin. I don't know if this is a good reason to give up on a factory, but apparently this is what happened. And I will have the reference in the description of this video. Steinbach told him he wanted to promote Brandenburg and that it was a big no-no to have a factory in that German state called Giga Berlin. Berlin is the country's capital, but also considered as one of the 16 constituent states in Germany. Musk would be ready to give up on the factory due to the name. What was Steinbach offering? I don't know, but what? Gigafactory Brandenburg or maybe the largest city in Brandenburg, which I don't know off the top of my head. Steinbach personally met Musk at the Hotel Adlon in Berlin and they agreed that the name would be Giga Berlin Brandenburg. That's good. That's not bad. Like the airport, but Musk tweeted it would be Giga Berlin and this is how the world know, uh, now knows it. And in these our reports, I always refer to the Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg as Giga Berlin. Tesla received the promise that all legal procedures to build the factory would be quickly uh, to solved, just like they apparently were for Giga Shanghai. That made people familiar with the German bureaucracy doubtful. Not having a building permit until now shows they were right. But that did not stop Tesla. And we know that Tesla can quickly... Uh, it is expected that the building final permit will come uh, and uh, Tesla will start the mass production of its Model Ys. And recently I said that, Steinbach I believe said that Tesla can even test produce a vehicle without, with this provisional permit, but uh, without the final permit they cannot stop. 
Tesla cannot start the mass production without the final permit. So now we expect the final permit to come anytime before May or July. So who knows, maybe it will be next week or in, in three, four weeks. Maybe it will be just after once the company is uh, construction is finished and they do the final is building inspect inspection and they give final permit. That will make more sense to me. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are about this. Do you think these Model Y bodies are produced in Giga Berlin or are brought from uh, Fremont? Why yes or why no? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. And also give us thumbs up, like this video, please. And uh, see you soon in our next report. Um, have a great day. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you.